We got up early this morning and headed out on the Ice Fields Parkway. Here in Banff National Park, we're headed towards Jasper today. And before the episode even started, what did we see? A bear. A bear. Erin is good bear luck. You could say she's very lucky because we've already seen six bears in just three days in the national parks here. And so yeah, on the schedule right now, we're heading to Pedo Lake, Big Hill Lookout, and the ice fields. We're gonna go on the snow coaches and the skywalk. It's gonna be a fun day. So we made it to the Columbia Ice Fields and in Jasper National Park now. I'm taking Aaron on a snow coach adventure, which goes way up on that glacier. That's Athabasca Glacier back that way. And to get there, we have to take a bus from this building to the snow coach, which is huge and awesome. And yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So after doing the, so after doing the, after doing the glacier, we're now doing something that I've never done before because it's brand new. This is the skywalk in which there's like a walking trail thingy that sticks out over this canyon on glass with a glass floor and it's over 900 feet above the valley. How excited are you? I'm excited. Excited. I think the adrenaline's flowing in Aaron yeah, now but... after that, uh, that little bit, how did you feel about that snow coach ride? I've liked better things. It was a little bit nerve wracking? Yeah, it was terrifying. It was fun. I love that trip. Anyways, let's go walk on the sky. That's weird. I don't think I like this. <laughs> So that was not as scary as I thought, and I really liked it. I'm pretty proud of Erin. She was a little bit nervous at the start. I mean, it's so unnatural to step on like thin air, and that's what it feels like. It feels like you're stepping on air. First few steps are a little scary, but then it's okay. Yeah, totally fine actually. Fun. It was a lot of fun. That's a really cool thing. I was kind of, to be honest, a little bit skeptical of the Skywalk when they built it, but actually a lot of fun and really glad we did that. Definitely come. The two of us are exhausted. We got up way too early and didn't get nearly enough sleep. But Jasper this time of year is tricky. There's no accommodation, zero zilch, nothing. In town, no bed and breakfasts, no hotels, no camping, no nothing. And guess what? We don't have an RV anymore. And we don't have our RV from Go RV in Canada anymore. So we're boondocking old school style. We've got like a mattress back here and some sleeping bags, and hopefully we stay warm enough tonight. We're gonna drive up right now, probably to Medicine Lake and find somewhere to park and camp overnight up there. You excited? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want the wonder back. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd show you our setup here in the back of our rental car. Hey. Aaron's in there. We put like this really soft foamy my mom gave me in here. Got a couple sleeping bags, the pillows, and we're all set up. Who needs a tent? Who needs a leisure van when you've got this car? I wish we had the leisure van because it has a bathroom. I wish we had the leisure van too, but our let's... bathroom's right there. There's our bathroom. You can't see it probably on the GoPro, but there's an outhouse right it there. It doesn't have a flushable toilet or a shower. Where's the DVD player? Where's it's the fridge? 
Where's the wine? Regardless, we're gonna sleep here, hopefully get some shed eye, and if by the chance of God there's good stars or northern lights and I somehow manage to stay awake for them, I'll share the photos now. Otherwise, we're calling it an episode, so... Maybe we'll see some moose? Peace. <laughs> Definitely not seeing moose tonight. No, why? I wanna see moose. I wanna see moose. Good night, y'all. Peace.